I started home brewing when I was 20, while I was in school to be a teacher. And after graduating college, got a teaching job. And as long as I was teaching, I was home brewing and probably spending as much time reading about brewing um, as I was writing lesson plans. So taught school for nine years or so with a couple of buddies that were also into brewing. We ended up starting this brewery. Um, within six, seven months of opening, one of those things kind of won out that battle and I had resigned from teaching. Um, it's been seven years now. I very much like traditional styles of beer. Um, even when we opened, I really wanted to focus on Kolsch and lagers. So those are the beers that I primarily enjoy drinking. And then filling it out with a, a wide range of beers, everything from porters, stouts, IPAs. Wanted to have a beer that anybody can come in and, and find something to drink. Um, we get a lot of people that travel into this area who still aren't super familiar with craft beers, so it's nice to give them options. We always get someone that walks in and asks for the lightest beer. It's like, well, I've got three of those. Which one do you prefer? I think uh, with lagers, the key isn't it necessarily making it interesting, it's just making it a solid beer. It's, it's one of those styles, you can, you can easily mess it up because there's not much going on. You can't really hide all flavors. So I think just nailing a lager is enough for me. Like from, even when we opened, we had tried our best to source barrels from either Adirondack Barrel Cooperage, which is just north of us in Remsen, or using barrels from different New York State distilleries. And we've slowly grown that. Two years ago, we did an expansion here to add to our brewing space, which gave me the space to, to play around and add a lot more barrels. The program's goal is two years minimum, aging some three, four, five, so I get to a point where I've got a little more complexity and can even blend stuff back together. To me, that experimental element of, you've got a great beer, what could make it a little better? What, what can change over time with the different barrels, the different spirits, and the key ingredient of time, really? But our barrel-aged beers have, have caught some traction. We've won awards uh, in state competitions and national competitions for some of our barrel-aged beers. So that's helped to kind of draw some attention to, to the program we're doing. I think besides the geography of the area, we've got the Adirondacks to the north, but there's also something about having multiple breweries in the same place that, that draws people there. People always ask us, wouldn't a new brewery in Utica like hurt you guys? It's like, no, there's 50 pizza places in Utica and every one of those pizza places does just fine. So having more breweries in one area gives people a reason to come visit. One of the reasons that we picked this location is it's just far enough outside of Utica where you, you, if you're local, you kind of feel like you're leaving the city for a little bit. So I like that idea of being able to come, get a good beer, relax, get a breath of fresh air, and just enjoy yourself. That's really it.